Hello, Matt Rolling Wrench. I just wanted to uh, educate you guys if you didn't know about staters. This is a Rick stater uh, aftermarket. So if you this is a stater, it's kind of just kind of like an alternator on a car, um, but it's internally on the on the motor, either on the right or left side of the cover. On a scooter, ATV, or motorcycle, they all have staters. Um, if you notice, it's a bunch of coils. Um, and then what happens is there's a magnetic, uh, they call it a rotor. It looks like a bowl, and the bowl goes around this, and it, there's a very tight clearances from, you know, between the here, all the way around, but between the stator and the uh, rotor, or magneto. Um, so, you know, there's, a, there's two things, two functions on a stator. You've got this, this is the pickup coil. This tells the engine when to spark. On that rotor, I wish I had one to show handy. Uh, on that rotor, it's like again, it's like a bowl that goes over this. Um, and it, there's a little magnetic square. And the square spins around in circles like this on the rotor. Um, and it, every time it passes this little pickup, which is mounted just like this, really close to the bowl, the bowl, when I say bowl, I mean magneto or rotor. Um, and every time it spins, uh, it tells the engine when to spark. So uh, that's what tells the engine when to spark. There's also um, one of these coils that I, I can tell you one, one or this one or that one will uh, energize um, this pickup. So if you have a bad pickup and you replace it and it still doesn't work, it's it's probably one of these um, in the stator. So that's why they you can't buy just the, you can, but that's why most people don't just replace these because there's a chance that it could be one of these pickup coils or these coils. All the, all the rest of these coils charge the battery at AC volts. Um, as that thing spins, as the rotor spins, it's uh, generating a magnetic pull that's uh, creating a charge. So that's kind of how that works. So you have two things that can go wrong when your um, stator is bad. You either have no spark or you're not, your battery's not charging. Most of the time it's your battery's not charging. So if, if you've, there's tests you can do. Each model has, you know, resistance readings so like at the end of the, the wires you'll you'll check the resistance between you know two plugs or it's all in the manual but that's kind of how that works um, it, it charges the AC volts there's another unit called a uh, rectifier regulator and it con converts AC volts to DC volts um, direct current and um, regulates it so it doesn't go above 15 volts um, so if you have any questions just let me know I hope that helped you a little bit Matt Rollin' Ranch.